Oh. There is writing on the wall it appears to be a poem. The dampness has caused it to be uh, to it to blur, making it unreadable. Is there a dude there? Doman's Book, Volume 1. A uh, document written by Doman concerning silkworms. My investigation of the silkworms worshipped at the shrine are nothing like ordinary silkworms. The parents of the silkworms at this shrine are incarnations of two mulberry trees. The mulberries on the trees are their eggs. Gross. Silkworms born from them have magical powers. How is a... Never mind. They can bring back the dead. But this means they must feed from humans. This dark magic suits me perfectly. When the fusion of flesh has occurred nine times, the spell shall be perfected. When I've mastered this magic formula, you will hoard yourself before me. She screams, kill me, and he screams. Two cards, finally Hien. I like Hien. Can't get that that way. Going in circles there for a moment there. Here's to be a poem. Wait, I know there's one you can read. It is a Chinese poem. The Song of Gaixia. I could lift a mount and quell the world, but even my steed fails me at times absurd. Now that my steed cannot preserve my life, what can I do for you, O oh my dear wife? Random? Much? I wonder if anyone's home. I got my summer blade. I can't remember if you have to fight someone here. Whether I'm thinking about uh, the Yang phase. Door is shut. The way is shut. It was made by those who were dead. The way is shut. And whoever can figure out what that's from, I'll give them a cookie. <laughs> I just hope I'm saying it loud enough. The dude ran this way, right? And that's what that end. So let's go down here. Right. Let's see if that other one was open. If this god gear is still there. That fall. Wooden panel attached is blocking the path. She keeps looking at something. I 
that they're waiting for me out there. Something. I need something. How do I kill this guy? I don't want to die. No, that won't work. Silk coffin. No. Puppet master obeying her message. Doo -doo -doo. Creature whose body. No. Yes, let's try this freaky woman thing. Yes, okay, I get it. Attack him! Yeah! Let's gang up on him! Go after him, demon lady thing. I'll get him from behind! Right, I'm the wrong way. Yes! Bloodstained cloth was found on Dokai. Uranus! No, I'm not saying that first word again. <sighs> Equipment. Go back to Ferrari. I'm in yellow, so time to heal. Throwing fire at me. I got you. Oh, wait, where did that? Why am I going back there? Mari, living orb of energy exploding on contact. Book. Korea's diary. Blood splattered diary kept by Korea. May 12th. When I fell off the cliff, I thought I was going to die. But when I came through, there wasn't even a scratch on me. I thought it was strange awakening in a wicker chest. I asked Utsuki about it. All she did was cry. So sweet of her to be worried. October 3rd. I've been feeling tired now, uh, tired and weak for the past few days. Utsuki keeps asking me if I'm alright. She mustn't find out how bad I really feel. October 13th. There are strange marks all over my body. I'm hiding them the best I can. I'm sure my flesh is starting to rot. I've caught that horrible disease. I looked in all my books, but they don't mention it. Utsuki keeps asking me how I feel. I don't like lying. October 25th. Yesterday I met some twins. I don't know when they arrived, but they told me to sleep with the silkworms in the chest for a night. Maybe I was dreaming, but I was desperate, so I did as they said. When I awoke, my body felt normal. They must have been manifestations of the Mulberry God. November 5th. I played with Utsuki today for the first time in a while. Perhaps I hadn't been active for some time. I felt flushed when night fell. March 4th. Everything will be alright, the twin, twin said, that I'll get better if I get inside the cocoon again. They said to look for a rat this time rather than a silkworm. I must hurry or my arm will rot, 
and fall off, or maybe my legs. I envy Utsuki for her soft, healthy limbs, healthy arms, legs, and neck. July 4th. When I mentioned the twins to Father, he told me about a ritualistic practice involving resurrections and cocoons. He said that a revived corpse will start to rot, at which point it must become a cocoon, each time fusing with a larger creature. This needs to be done nine times. April 27th. When I woke up inside the wicker chest, I realized that it was Utsuki who pushed me off the cliff. She talks nonsense about irises and poems, while I, here I am in agony, my body beginning to rot. I wish I had her healthy skin.